Hey guys, welcome back to another episode. I'm here with my my buddy Ben. What's up? And it's uh, we woke up at three in the morning to come get out here in the lake at five, and uh, we've been setting up for the past 45 minutes. And guys, we are doing. And I just did. <laughs> first cast. And the handle came off. All right, cool. It's cool. hilarious on the first cast. <laughs> I'm just glad I fished in him. Yeah. Get on the new like, what's know. going on? And then it would just be like take the line out. <laughs> it's all good, bro. You're gonna it Did you see that right in front of you? <gasps> that was a carp. We're doing a topwater uh lure right now. He's throwing a spoon. We're gonna be doing slip bobbers, Carolina rigs. The whole shebang. So something special about this episode is we didn't bring any food. We're only eating what we catch today. We got about 12 hours of only water. So guys, you know, this is this is the best way to fish. No option. Either you catch food or you don't eat, which is what we're doing. All right, so according to the Lakes Municipal Water District, they said the, the, the surface temp was 69 degrees. Yep. That's not optimal for trout, so we're definitely going to be going a little bit deeper. Oh, got one, boys. Oh, yeah. Oh. Hey, Ben, would you mind grabbing that net for me? Dang it. It came off. I'm just not hook setting it right. I don't know. You got one? Come on, Ben. I'm starting to think, Ben, give it like a half a second, or maybe a second longer for them to take it. Yeah, before giving it a good hook set. Also, pro tip, do one hook set and no more. If you do, if you do multiple, you could rip it right out of their mouth. Oh, that's, that's, no, you, uh, when you were talking about that, I was, sounded like something that I, I very well might want to, oh, guys getting a bite, just got a good bite, waiting for him to, there we go, oh yeah. All right, let's let's hope this guy stays on. Right. Let's hope he stays on. It's all right, Ben. I think I think I'm just gonna I think I'm just gonna bring him up here. Right. Come on! Woo! Dude, you got him! Whoa. All right, boys. Freaking sick! All right. Wait, still mad him? It's okay. It's okay. We'll keep this guy, he's a good pan fryer. Right. Woo! Yeah, son! Dude, heck yeah. <laughs> good looking fish right there. It's a good there. looking little trout there, well, man. At least we won't starve today. Nope, we will not. We'll, uh, we'll have at least a good little appetizer. Good breakfast. Yeah, see, he, that was, a, that was, I waited the right amount of time. He, uh, he swallowed that whole thing. Wow. Yeah. That's kind of, that's kind of what you're waiting for. But because this water is so warm, we're gonna bonk him out right away and get him on ice. Putting him back in the water just makes him suffer too, so actually I'm just gonna bonk him out right now. Done. Wow. Are you good here? Should I go back to my line? I am, yeah, dude, I am good. Thank you so much for coming all the way over here. There he is, folks. Just a good little, little 12, 13 incher. Good for the pan. The fact that we are, we didn't bring any food today, 
definitely makes uh makes this a lot a lot more satisfying all right folks so i'm using that slip bobber i'm going by like maybe maybe about five feet down and i'm using a yellow chartreuse power egg with these pink worms i've already had two bites lost one fish just landed that one hallelujah got ben over there he's next to the carolina rig doing his uh slip bobber and now I'm gonna do my slip bubber. You got one? Come on, dog! Yeah, boy! Should we throw some back? It's up to you, bro. It's your fish. It's a trout? It's a trout. We'll probably catch bigger ones, right? Probably. So? Yeah, let's throw it back. Want to throw it back? Let's throw it back. It's a good looking trout, bro. So one, here's the one thing to learn about yeah. uh, trout. You want to wet your hands before okay. you touch them. They have a protective coating around their skin that you don't want to harm. Got it. So, let's, first, let's see how bad this guy swallowed it. Hmm. We can just keep it. Yeah, you know what? He, he swallowed this good enough to where I would just say it's probably good it. just to keep him. Yeah, awesome. Check it out, guys. This has been, is this your first trout? Yeah. First trout? Hold that sucker. It's about 100 pounds. <laughs> good thing I'm super strong. 100 grams, 100 milligrams. <laughs> Well, that's pretty awesome. Ben's first trout. I think it's, wait, Ben, was that, like, when's the last time you caught a fish, dude? Probably when I was like 10. That's a good 15 years, dog. So when that slip over hits the water, it should hit it, it should be horizontal, and then you'll see it be pulled, and then it'll pop right up. So if you see that movement, it'll land horizontal, it'll kind of move, and then, pop right up if you see that that means it's it's doing what it's supposed to otherwise it means the leader line if it doesn't do that the leader line got tangled up somehow in the, in the bobber or in the uh, barrel swivel Yeah, it's a tiny one. Okay, all right. So I'll just pull it in. Yeah. Yeah, bring it up to the net, bring it up to the net. Uh, do, if it feels like it wants to fight, let it fight. All right. That's maybe a little bit bigger? Yeah, it's bigger. Okay. Nice trout, right. bro. Let's get it, so. Yeah, that was. Hungry. Okay. Um. Alrighty, folks, so. What we're gonna get for our trout lunch here is crawdads so we are gonna throw out some raw chicken guys i'm telling you this i've used this a couple times now a guy at a local tackle shop here in southern california recommended this and it works like a freaking charm all right ben crawdad time yeah, yeah dude Is it on there? No, no, uh, keep, keep reeling, keep reeling. Oh, wait, maybe not. No, no, no. Okay, we're still good. Oh, yeah, son. Okay, now take your time. This is, this is a honker. I can, I can tell. There goes my hand. Yeah. Oh, that's a big boy. A biggest one yet. Oh, got it. Oh, God, there we go. Are you okay? <laughs> wow, finally. Come on, Dude, good bro. Catch, Good catch. I'm so glad you saw it. You're the one that reeled it in. 
Did you see how, did you see how it slowly was turning like that? Yes. So folks, the rod was basically just doing a slow, slow bend. Wow, and the bell wasn't sure even going. enough. Bro, it's a big one of the day. Wow, I'm so glad you saw that. I would not have seen it. Come on, look at that full tail. Ooh. It's a, it's a beautiful bow. So maybe this one's been in there a little longer. It's possible. Yeah. Wow. Amazing. That's, so what was the bait? The worm? It was no. It was the uh, rainbow power bait. Wow. Rainbow power bait, bro. Out right. there for a record. Um, hold on. Ten minutes. So we're running low on battery on the main camera, and I gotta save my batteries because we're about to do a cook up of all this, all this trout, and we're actually gonna still have to check that crawdad trap. Hopefully, we, we got some stuff. Is this a way? Have you have you seen a crawfish before? I think I see like a dead one in a sewer. Well, okay. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much where they hang out. Okay. Fingers crossed. <laughs> it's been in there for. No way. Oh, there's a few. Okay. Oh, there's oh. a good amount. There's actually more sculpins. These dumb little buggers. We only got one. Yeah, he's a keeper. Okay. So you hold on to that, I'll hold on to the string. All right. Spot number two. Now we're talking. Yeah, that's Sick. it. All right, spot number two. Good. Uh, this is this, this is like our vegetables with our trout. We need some we need some crawfish. We got a couple. We got one more. <laughs> hey! All right. One for you, one for me. Yeah, that, works. <laughs> that works. And then we'll throw it back in. We'll probably get some more this evening. Exactly. No, 100. percent All right, folks. Time to make some food. So guys, I've heard this tiger sauce is actually good to boil the crawfish in. So we're gonna give this a go. Got a generous amount. All right, people, the boil is ready. Just dump them in. They die immediately, guys. That water's seething hot, so they're gone. See that? They're starting to turn like a lobster. Look at that. Whoa! <laughs> Isn't that cool? Oh. All right, guys. This is done. This is done. Oh, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! I don't want to. I don't want to spill hot water on me. A little crawfish appetizer. So we're cooking the trout with fresh cut chives that I cut last night. And some, some, uh, some fresh thyme. Of course, salt and pepper. And you can't forget butter. I mean, it's sushi and Thai food are like, yeah, it's amazing. All day. Whew. I'm hungry. Pick a fork. Ooh. Take your trout, and you can just gonna start like pulling away like this, okay? And be as, as gentle as you can. So all the bones kind of stay on the skeleton. See, once you see the see the uh, the spinal cord right here, yeah, yeah. you're gonna grab this rib cage bone and you're just gonna start pulling away gently and just pulling away all the meat. And about 98% of the bones are just gonna come off just like this. Yeah, this is what this is looking like. Look at that color. If you guys have not had fresh trout with fresh cut herbs, um, specifically chives and, and thyme, do it. I just I love salt. It's in my blood. And of course, 
This meal would not be complete without. Yep. It's called the cherry on top. Guys, I'm so sorry if the lens has been kind of blurry this whole time. Let me let me put my tongue on here like that. There we go. Oh, there we go. Okay. All right. Can you give me the works. Oh, dude. That, that's, that looks like a good meal right there. Yes. Might look messy, but oh, it's gonna be so delicious. Yes. Let me get some of this green on there, though. Ooh, I can smell it. Come on. Yep, plop them on there. All right, here we All right go. let's dig in. Jesus, thank you so, thank you so much. Down here at the very end, you're gonna pull out as well until it's like mostly just meat. And then just try it. What I try to do is I try to get that that out of there. Just kind of rip it right on the top. Yeah. You lose a little meat, but then you just don't eat the poop. Yep. No, I don't see that. Amazing. Right there. Boom. Whoa. Oh yeah. 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 There you go. Well, everyone, thanks for joining us for another episode. Uh, this was a blast. And boy, I, I say we're definitely satisfied. Yep. That was well worth, uh, well worth not eating all day. Oh, yeah. Stick around for more episodes. Don't forget to, you know the drill, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. It really helps the channel out. Thanks again for joining, and uh, I'll see you on the next episode.